Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another really exciting video because today we're getting new wheels for the M140i. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, straight off the bat, I have never liked the standard wheels on the M140i. These are 18 inch uh, five spoke split wheels, they're finished in gunmetal grey and they are the standard wheels which come with the M140i. Now you can upgrade these wheels to I believe 19 inches, a similar style but I think do make a big difference. This car theoretically should have it or should have them should I say uh, because of course it is a shadow edition car but hey ho when you're buying a car second hand you can't have everything. Now I have the new wheels in the boot and I will say a big shout out to Paul the previous owner of the wheels a big shout out to him for giving me first refusal on them uh, I'll leave his Instagram link down in the description down below for you guys to go and check out it's a pretty famous M140i in the UK so I'm sure some of you guys already know him uh, but he's completely redesigned the look of his car therefore selling his old wheels but before we take a look at the wheels and I'll show you what I've gone for then let's first of all run some b-roll and then have a bit of an overview of some of the mods well all of the mods which we've done to the car so far and then once we've done that I shall reveal to you the new wheels for the 140i So I'm going to do my best to kind of do these mods in order of which I've done them uh, myself. Uh, so from the first to the most recent, uh, and of course the first of which was the Motec Stance Plus. I mean, still to this day, I'm in awe with how good this thing looks. Now, of course, I went for the Stance Plus, which means that it is a 30 mil drop at the front with a 12 millimeter spacer, and then a 25 millimeter drop at the back with a 15 millimeter spacer. Now, what I will say right now is those spacers will not be needed with the new wheels because they are a slightly wider offset, but I will still be running the um, Motec Stance Plus springs, um, but it will look fairly similar in in terms of fitment because obviously the new wheels are a little bit wider but still just like this this car sits so well so nice and squat uh, especially when you've got some people in the back actually <laughs> um, but yeah that was a definite worthy first modification for the car now second of all i went up to sheffield to visit the guys at cobra sport they did of course do the gpf opf or ppf delete to my exhaust we're still running the stock back box but we do have it's, well, it's basically cut from just after the cat right to the beginning of the back box. If I take a little peek under here, we might be able to see it. Probably not, but that has made a massive difference to the car, which, to be honest, I'll show you right now. much better now i'm blown away to be honest at just the amount of difference that has made just deleting that dreaded gpf filter but there we go sounds amazing now so i'm a happy bunny i do want to do some more stuff to the exhaust but that is of course for another video now the most recent modification we have done is quite a subtle one actually but one which i i think it might be one of my favorites that i've done so far i think has made a huge difference uh, and that is of course the gloss black vinyl inserts which were done by c2f4 design now we've done the kind of m performance style side stripes now basically that is kind of following the swage line that goes down the side of the car to be honest when you see the car from this kind of angle anyway you see a shadow there but it's kind of just accentuated that which i'm loving i've had it on the car now for about a week and a half the video went up fairly recently actually um but yeah hugely happy with that of course at the same time we did the gloss black uh, side seals which again follows the swage line of the design of that and also we did the eyelids i guess or the top bit of the uh, headlight which was chrome beforehand and then obviously we did the badges on both sides and on the back as well nice subtle difference but one which i am hugely happy with 
Now that for now brings you guys pretty up to date with what I've done to the car. Now yes, don't worry, those front canards and those horrible grey mirrors will be going, but again, that's not for today's video. Um, and I do have quite a lot of other stuff planned for the car. I'm not joking, serious stuff, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I think it's wheel time, so we'll open up the boot. We have all four wheels in here at the moment, uh, which fit nice and snug. We've got the parcel shelf up there as well. So. The ones I have gone for, I believe, are quite well known in the BMW and especially M140i um, kind of world. So, without further ado, we will crack open this box and show you the new wheels. Oh, well, that's gone well, hasn't it? Come on. Come on, Luke, put yourself together. There we go. Now, these are the 359M style wheels. They're finished in gloss black, and you'll probably recognize them from the E46 M3 and the E92 M3. Now, they are a little bit dusty. They've actually been in this box for quite a while because I've been so busy I've had no time to fit them, but we've gone gloss black. So you can see we've got a bit of a theme going on here. We've got esteril blue and gloss black. I think it's gonna look stunning with these wheels on. Now, I'm unsure whether I want to keep these stock uh, center caps or go for the black and white ones, which came in with the deal. Now, these, I think, I'm not sure on them at the moment because they've gone a bit yellow um, where they've been obviously exposed to the road. Um, but yeah, super, super happy with those. And obviously, we have all four. Excuse the boxes, by the way. These are just general wheel boxes, <laughs> which again came with the deal, but there we go. 359M style wheels for the M140i. I cannot wait to get them fitted. So I think actually without further ado, we'll uh, go and see my friend who's actually going to fit them for me um, and well, get them on ASAP because I'm so, so excited to see what they look like. Yes, now that looks incredible. Now, I've seen the recent comments about the stripes. People are not fans, but what do you think now with the black wheels? I think it looks awesome. And obviously that's why I've done it, but here we go. It's actually a few days later after getting the wheels fitted, I've given the car a bit of a clean and also it got dark when we were fitting the wheels. So that was a bit annoying. That's the thing with winter time here in the UK. It gets dark at like 4 p.m. But anyway, here we go. We have the new wheels on the car. I am super, super happy with how these have turned out. Now, anyone who is interested in having this done to your M140i, you can use the original tires, the original uh, sensors that are inside uh, the rim, uh, and even the original center caps. I've decided to stick with the original uh, blue and white ones instead of the black and yellowy ones, which um, are on the car, well, on the previous car with the wheels on if that makes sense i still need to supply these little bits um, which obviously um i couldn't transfer because it's kind of a single use um sticky tape adhesive but yeah this is really coming together now of course yes i still need to do the canards and the mirrors in black but yeah super super happy like i mentioned i have taken off the uh, motec spaces but we're still running uh, the motec stance plus springs this has completely transformed the car. I love this design of wheel. Um, I've always loved them since, well, since they were on the E92 and the E46 M3, but I've seen them occasionally, actually, I've seen them before on different M140Is, and I always knew that these were the ones which I wanted. Um, but yeah, dare I say it? Let me know down in the uh, down in the comments whether you, you like the wheels. I kind of hope you do, uh, but there's still some more, um, what's the word, aesthetic mods to do um, in the form of some body kit? Do I say that? <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, super happy with that. And uh, yeah, the new wheels. You know, it really is mad how much a set of wheels can change the look of a car. Mmm, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And that is all that matters, people. My car, I'll do what I want. <laughs> that's all I will say, but anyway, that's a slightly shorter video uh, than normal, but uh, yeah, 
still cool to uh, have a new set of wheels on the car. I, it's just, it's made me love it even more because I've never liked the original wheels. I've said it numerous times. I even said it earlier on in this video, I believe. Um, and these, yeah, these are, these are cool. I like them. And uh, yeah, super happy with my decision. But anyway, that is going to cut it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please so much you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. Don't hate my wheels or my stripes, please. <laughs>